Marte of South Africa is the referee, and we're underway. No, uh, no instruction. The white trunks, Kubra Pulov in the red, and it will be interesting. Anthony Joshua. Joshua, of course, big, fluid, determined, but Ruiz is knocked out and knocked down by Vladimir Klitschko. So you can't hurt this man, but he... Just like against Klitschko, standing in the middle of the ring, looking like he's willing to trade. And I tell you what, Joshua looks taller than just two inches taller than Pulev. The advantage. Another jab to the body by Pulev. Returned in favor. First round, he kind of buckled Klitschko with a well-timed jab. That's exactly what he's trying to do here with Joshua. Instead of Joshua last year, he told me the key for Pulev was to time that Joshua jab. He said Josh over the top with that right hand. Yeah, Pulev a very different fighter, though. Very different offensive skills than Andy. That type of weaponry. What he has is a good long jab and a good strong right hand. But it's just for right if he can aim that jab at the chest or even the belly, because right now Pulev, you know, he has his arms open. Just landed in the first round. We only have a minute to go. Another jab just short. But Joshua against Klitschko. Pulev fought just like this. He got hit with a left hook, went down, stood. Sergio, we asked you, you know, psychologically, how do you think Josh... But we're all curious to see what, how he's going to react when he gets clipped on the chin. That's what, you know, people... Kubrev are... able to reach the face of Anthony Joshua, just pawed at him there. But trying to get a little well either. Long right hand, it's blocked. Jab, you can see the range advantage to change something with his style. Uh, in fighting the younger man and the more talented category so he, he's used to fighting behind that jab but it's, he's awkward in there so you just got to be patient round takes a good long look pull up tries to the body Joshua couldn't quite uncork it to our initial theme which Joshua will we see so far Joshua not to engage and look maybe that's smart early rounds of Pulev but we'll have to wait and see As long as to not stand right in front of him and then look for the right opening. And there's a combination from Jin to engage here. Halfway through round number two. We're in the uh, early moments of this fight. Chris is picking. We're in the midway through the second head, ending to the, towards the end of the second. And there's been a bit because at this level, man, you make one mistake and the fight can be over. But it's picking up nicely, man. Again, Pulev has an excellent right hand, but it is a long right, not that short. Good long jab there by Joshua. Now you can see Joshua and Rob McCrack around with that left hook that Pulev's been vulnerable to. And on Pulev's side, does it be myself? Again, I mentioned like Danny Garcia last week against Errol Spence for the welterweight championship. Difficult, but will he win on points? I mean, very unlikely. I don't see the way uh, uh, closer to Joshua to land something over the top. Able to la uh, block those shoot. You know, this could be an easy points win for Joshua if this stays at this low level power. He likes to keep this distance. He likes to look for, for strong jabs and, and opens the right hand. But then, uh, Joshua getting out of trouble. Moving his head nicely, gets under the hook. As well, so far we've seen the Saudi Arabia version. Patient right now. Well, no, he is, but still, this is rather tentative. Long right hand. Creations of Joshua, you'd see him crouch down a little bit, lunge in, look for those big shots. He's deaf. Weaves nicely underneath, so good defensive skills by Joshua. And a return right hand. Good counter right. Pull up says he's not hurt. Screaming out. But Joshua, there's confidence. There's a free. He got hurt with Andy Ruiz. Getting reckless, going aggressive, and going towards him. Beautiful right hands. Another uppercut. That hurt Pulev. Pulev's on the ropes. He's hurt. He turns his back. That's a knockdown, but that could have been stopped. So let's try this again, Brian. Anthony Joshua is a composed. Ruiz, let's see. Can he close the show? This is impressive. This is the destroy on the ropes again. Turns away. Does he want any more? The uppercut. Pull up down on his back. They get him back in there. This could end. Right hands. Now a hook. Another uppercut. That uppercut has found a home. He is hitting him, airs, but he's right about that. See, that's the thing about a style like Pulev, where, where his hands are... Well, that was an impressive round. Look, that's exhilarating, and that's Anthony Joshua at his... Where the confidence was, or at least I did, and then he opened up, landing his big shots. That was beautiful hand. Pulev is on shaky legs. He's a... T Can Pulev's only loss to Vladimir Klitschko, November of 2014.
Well, that's what happens when you turn your back, Brian. See, that's an his money shot. He threw the jab and came up with a hard right hand, and that's his best weapon. For Joshua to keep fighting off that jab, look for opportunities to throw the right hand, because once he lands one clean... This was, uh, to that point, the Anthony Joshua we saw in Saudi Arabia. And again, there's a fine line. He was able to flip the switch, and he went full bore for the knockout in the third round. Give him credit. One of the best chins in all of heavyweight boxing. So you know what you're getting into with that type of fight. This fight. Again, he did not know where he was. Turned his back, somehow kept going, got knocked back in this fight in the fourth round. About 40 seconds left. Staying composed. He didn't get the finish, but he is staying composed. And he needs to be on his toes because right now, Pula, it looks like uh, Joshua knows that now. And he's going back to the jab, backing up, being careful. Look, when Deontay Wilder was knocking out guys with one shot, when Anthony Joshua was him out. So Joshua can make a statement here and lead to a true super right now. Round number five, heavyweight championship. Anthony Joshua in the white trunks. Kubrat Pula, little team led by Gabby Logan there ringside. We'll have full reaction after this bout. Anthony Joshua putting Kubrat Pula, the tough Bulgarian fighter. Not a difficult fighter to knock down at this level, but is a difficult fighter to keep down. I'm very surprised he's still in this fight. I mean, Chris, when he was getting rattled around, it looked like it was... It was and, and boxing off the back foot, because Pulev, he has fighting on. Pulev's coming forward, looking for, for the... Wants to stop his man, but that's a 10-7 round. You're winning rounds going away. You, you... I don't know if I call it a weakness, but I had this conversation with Manny Robles. Rob McCracken and Joshua's instinct is to be entertaining, to please the crowd. And that's what sometimes gets... We were told by McCracken and Joshua, hey, as an amateur, I was a real boxer. I can buy his, of his career that the best of both worlds, the combination of his box... Our jab and a right hand by Joshua. That's a snap the head back on Pulev. That right uppercut will land again. That straight right will land again. And there was a period of time where most people, Wilder, when Wilder was unbeaten, right now most people, that's a good hard shot from Pula. Most people think tight, a beat down here by Joshua might change the perception, and the perception sells. Neither one of those guys is considered unbeatable. Both Tyson Fury has been knocked down by a couple of guys, including Steve Cunningham, kind of a blown up cruiserweight. First fight since the shutdown. That's another part of it, guys, is that you know, like most, not the way Anthony Joshua has wanted to fight. I mean, now, Kubrat Pulev in the same, and a, including a full year off. Everybody's been dealing, regained his heavyweight belts. Pulev has readjusted, found his leg. With that jab, he's going to have success, Pulev is. That was a good pull right there. I mean, he just put it slip. Joshua slipping nicely. Joshua. body and that's what I wanted to see earlier from Joshua because that's gonna bring down the arms of Pulev to land a bit but he's smiling he's loose and he has more conviction on those shots and that's what I have now they are yeah he's throwing hard jabs and defending himself against that more successful moments tries with the hook looks like it just grazed Pulev Pulev is 39 years old he's in great condition he's only lost to Vladimir Klitschko but he's pretty but he's tough and he's trying with the right hand. So Joshua has still got... Joshua mad either. That's a shot to the back of the head. Now Pulev is rough. He likes to bully opponents. I, I, I like the fact... Along the lines of, we're saying you have to try something. When he gets inside, if the ref isn't saying break, you can punch. Joshua, you do want to start to try to time these Pulev lunges. He's lunging in. Now a little dancing from Joshua. He starts to move. He starts to... Get up on his loose. He has two knockdowns already. Let's go ringside. Gareth Davies is our ringside reporter. Gareth's uh, um, Pulev uh, way behind him on the scorecards, but I want to see almost enjoying it in there too much. For me, he's letting Pulev back into the fight, and I want to see him. So I think he's got to go for the finish, and he's show what a great finisher he is. It's a little bloodthirsty. I want to <laughs> see this end. I, I get his point, though. Look, Joshua has Pulev back in this fight. I think he's just winning rounds easily. But there was something particular. Sometimes when you get a knockdown early, it can work against you because, you know, the, the, the opponent that he went through the worst, he got knocked down twice. Now it's time for him to just let caution to the win and go forward. Upstairs, downstairs, looking for that big right hand and that uppercut. Three in a row there right there. It is. Four. Stands with an uppercut. You, you know, if I'm the referee, Brian, that's like the tenth rabbit punch. Gotta be a stronger one. Yeah, a warning, you know, during the round, you, you can do that. He has not had real length. 
when you have a referee in there for the heavyweight championship of the world. Final minute, scoring shots and throwing that vicious uppercut multiple times. And that started that combination earlier in the round. And by the way, just to, to finish that thought, driver, right? Called it. Nice right hand by Pulev. Yeah, Pulev jumping in with the right. Between Pulev and Joshua. They put on a big show. Brett Pulev, longtime IBF mandatory challenger. Again, just one pro loss, and that's durable, strong. But can he win? I don't know if he's taken a round. As a professional, 28 and 1. He has not set the world on fire, but he is strong. Can he come up with something? Because at this point, he's going to have to stop Anthony Joshua. I think, Joe, what, what would you tell Pulev? Well, Pulev needs to be a little bit more aggressive, obviously. So now, Duarte is going to talk to both fighters. Well, you've got to warn them specifically. And, and even in that instance, Pulev didn't try to cheap shot Joshua. He had a chance. He lit. Joshua had his, has his head up in the air. Calling that jabs, you fake a jab and come around that, that guard with a left hook. Again, Joshua coming in in Saudi Arabia, where he was ripped, where he was as light as he really could be. To the torso. That's exactly what I want to see more of. Good work by Joshua. He's very good at getting, but he can't touch Joshua's head. Yeah, but he has to be a little bit more athletic with it. He, he has to... It's been a decent round, a little better rhythm here. Pulev able to press a little more and... He needs to be a lot more athletic with it. Starting to mix it up a little bit more. Joshua missing with the uppercut. Times. Let's go ring. Yeah, he's doing exactly what I thought he would do, and he's going to take the chances when they come. Um, but he's sticking to the plan. That was the game plan all along. And it's good to see him slap it into a higher gear now and then. But uh, again, Pula won this round, but it's definitely his best round to date. That kind of, well, he was retired then, by the way. Round nine, <laughs> heavyweight title fight, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury could be in the future in a super fight unification. And Anthony Woody to put on the hurt as well. Dropping him twice, dropping Pulev twice. Weather was one of the best uh, fighters to actually jab to the stomach and come around with a left hook. He would base the Liz. And Joshua now able to keep Pulev back with that stick. And Pulev now at that against Vladimir Klitschko six years ago. And he is not going to win the fight from that distance. There it is. As a, you can hear the corners a, a lot louder now without 80,000 people there. There's that left hook. He is There's tattooing that left hook. Pulev right now. Eight, seven rounds to one in favor of Anthony Joshua. Actually gave Pulev the last that moved Joshua back, but it is all AJ in this fight, including so far in this. Maybe, fight. maybe not, but it's a good scorecard. Look at these uppercuts. Two of them landed. Three, four. These inside exchanges. When Joshua throws that uppercut, Pulev doesn't seem all that interesting. Rarely see three in a row land. Uppercuts, anyway. Yeah. It was like the end of that Javante Davis. The big man, like Joshua, throw more than one uppercut like that. Maybe watch that fight. Uh, I've never heard. Pulev is rocked. He's on shaky legs. And down he goes. That was three. He is wobbling around the ring. Ordered back to the new third knockdown of the fight for Anthony. Joshua, right hand. And down goes. And there is your ferocious finish. The count is on. And they jungle respect. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dion Duarte calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage. Two minutes and 58 seconds of round number nine. Your winner by knockout. And still the unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony. Он не стерим в мече. Вот кима крыме барма барма. Вот это, вот это. Вот это, вот это. Вот это, вот это. Дука, пранк, сяк, то пранк, еще га, армангеле, да, армангеле, не вино, уйла, ганда, систи, ее, мак, как будто пранк, сяк, че, бербит, план, сяк, армангеле, не сиотс, не дадешь,